Welcome back to the Sunny Stampin' Studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this fun birthday card for my 12-year-old son. Only instead of recreating this card exactly, I'm going to switch up the colors and use it to create a card for my niece who will be turning 11. Why don't we get started? First thing you're going to need is a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. I'm then going to take a stamp from the Birthday Bliss stamp set and I'm going to stamp it onto my white cardstock in basic black classic ink. You're now going to need a one and a quarter inch square punch and you just want to frame the window of the punch around the greeting that you just stamped. And then punch it out. Now once you've done that you can go ahead and embellish it and I want to stick a little rhinestone there. Now we have um, these clear rhinestone brads and you can pop the rhinestones out of there. That's what I want to do when I'm, when I'm in a hurry to grab a rhinestone. And what you want to do is to open the legs. So you open the prongs like so. And then I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see. There's these little metal pieces that are holding the rhinestone in place. And what you want to do is you want to take the edge of your scissors um, or something sharp and you just want to lift up those prongs to pop the rhinestone out. Now once you've done that, you can go ahead and stick it to your greeting piece using a mini glue dot. Now if you don't have um, rhinestone brads, you can always get some of those peel and stick rhinestones. So there you go, you can see I've got that stuck to my greeting. Now the next thing I want to do is to just grab my card. So here's this card, it's a whisper white piece of cardstock that's four and a quarter by eleven folded in a half to create a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. I've got a four by five and a quarter piece of cameo coral and then I've got a three and three quarter by five inch piece of designer paper. So using my snail adhesive I'm going to center and stick my designer paper onto my piece of cameo coral cardstock. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and use your snail adhesive to center and stick this to your Whisper White card front, like that. Now as you can see, I already have the greeting here that I stamped and punched. You're also going to need two more pieces of Cameo Coral cardstock, and I, um, I punched these one and a quarter inch squares out of textured cardstock and you're going to need one more Whisper White square. Now, once you have that, you can go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of each of these squares. And for the textured cardstock, I'm just making sure that I'm putting my dimensionals on the least textured side, because I want the texture to show. Okay, once you've done that, you can go ahead and position these onto your card. So I'm going to peel the dimensionals off the back of my Whisper White square, and that's the first piece that I'm going to set down. As you can see, I'm just doing the exact same thing for all four pieces. Now I would suggest you just press it down lightly so that afterwards, if you didn't quite get it straight, you're able to adjust it. Now I'm going to take a mini library clip in the silver, and this is from the Mini Library Clips collection, and I just want to clip that onto my Cameo Coral. I now want to add a couple of buttons. Now I have one button that I just grabbed from my sewing basket, and one button that I grabbed from the Playground um, Designer Buttons collection. Now as you can see, I'm getting ready here to thread it with a piece of cardstock. And what I did was I just I can zoom in here so you can see. I took a sliver of cardstock and I threaded it down through the buttons 
and then I pulled it through on the back side of my button. I then took a mini glue dot and pressed my button onto the glue dot to pick it up. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and trim the ends of the cardstock and then stick the ends down to the mini glue dot like so. Once that's done, you then pick up another mini glue dot, oops, simply by pressing the button to the mini glue dot and then you just position your button on your card where desired. So this white one I had already gone ahead and pre-threaded this button and I'm going to go ahead and stick that on. So the last thing I now need to do is to put my number on. I die cut my numbers out of um, Cameo Coral Textured cardstock and I used the Stampin' Up! Sizzlets Timeless Type Alphabet Junior to die cut my numbers. Now I do want these numbers popped so in order to do that I'm going to need some Stampin' Dimensional. So if you can see here I'm just cutting a little bit of the border. I'm going to cut myself two pieces. So you can see they're nice long and skinny. And I'm going to, now I'm going to zoom out here so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see there I have my two numbers and I'm going to flip it over, peel off the backing from my dimensionals and I want to stick this right onto the number like so. And I want to do the same with the other number. So you can see there I've now got my dimensionals on. Once you have those on, you can go ahead and peel the backing off. And although you don't need them, I find it helpful to have tweezers when you're doing this. And I'm going to take my first number and just lay it on. I'm not going to press it down until after I've placed my second number, and then I can take a look at it and make sure it's straight. Okay, I think this one needs to be... Adjusted. And then once you're happy, you just press it down the rest of the way. And there you have it. You can see both versions of the card. I have one for girls and one for boys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to stamping with you again.